Hello friends, thank you so much for joining us today. For this week's media demonstration, we're going to be using markers to color in this partridge in a pear tree. This is a fun wintertime drawing and it's just fun to do at this time of year. I plan on using cool tones like blues and purples and teals and maybe some raspberries or mulberries or whatever kind of cool tones I can find in my marker bin here. But I also have some ideas about using some bright tones like really bright yellow and gold tones as well. So we'll see how it turns out. I've got a general plan, but I'm willing to be flexible and you know, maybe there'll be a happy accident along the way and I'll say, oh yeah, I like that, that's a great idea. So it's good to be open-minded, it's good to be kind of ready, at the same time, be flexible. So I'm gonna go into time-lapse here, friends. Um, remember, time-lapse is fast, but coloring is really something you should take your time on. I do the time-lapse, so it's fun for my videos, but in real life, I take my time. Um, it probably will take me 20 to 30 minutes at least to color this drawing, and it should be taking you about that amount of time as well. Just relax and enjoy yourself. And um, anyway, I'm gonna do time-lapse. I'll be back to do a conclusion. Here we go. As you can see, I went all around all these pears and leaves with the purple, and I ended up deciding to make my partridge really bright. Um, I just felt like the background was dark and I did not want my partridge to get too dark. And that is something to really keep in mind when you're coloring with markers is you want to have contrast. So this is a snowy background here, so meaning just the ground is covered in snow. I just used a little gray to create a shadow there. But I'm also really glad that I chose to make my partridge stand out like this. Also, the pears, um, they could have been other colors. I wanted them to be really bright. And purple and yellow are complementary colors. And so I really wanted them to stand out because that's another way to show contrast, is to put complementary colors side by side. Another thing you can do, and this is an example, uh, for example, this is a laser lemon, which is a, almost like a highlighter color. And I just want to show you what happens. If you decide that you know the colors you got are just a little bit too dark you can go right over the top with a laser lemon and uh, it kind of just brightens it right up and I like the way that looks so I am going to go ahead and do that um, it's really important to try to color in the same direction guys as well as slowly a lot of times I see my students moving super duper fast and uh, their markers end up looking like they're drying out, their drawings look like they're scribbled. And uh, it's really sad when you take a lot of time to do your drawing with a Sharpie, and then you scribble to finish. It's just a terrible, kind of sad way to do it. So if you don't wanna color it right away, it's okay to set it aside and come back to it later. Yeah, see how much brighter those are? I think, I think that looks better. Um, I also put the yellow on top of the wood color here. Uh, anywhere you want to brighten it up, uh, you can certainly see how much that works. And so please take your time. Please do your best work, guys. Um, thank you so much for watching today. I hope you're having a wonderful holiday season. Remember, you can color this with whatever you have at home. Any supplies will be great. But just remember the rules, guys. Don't scribble. Take your time. 
try to create contrast. Contrast as in a dark background and a bright bird, or maybe a dark bird and a bright background. Something that makes the main character, which is the partridge, and the pears and the pear tree stand out. All right, guys, that's it for today. Have a great winter break.